Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the barn where tonight we have boys varsity basketball for you. As tonight, the New Knoxville Rangers are welcoming in the Marion Local Flyers for an MAC contest here on NK Telco Sports. Tonight's game brought to you by the following sponsors. Keyhole Pizza, First National Bank, Precision Strip, Emerson Climate Technologies, Carriage Works, Grand Lake Health, Kogi Plumbing and Heating, Lincoln Electronic Automation, Minster Bank, Pratt Industries, Wagner's IGA, Wilson Health, Winner's Meats, NK Supply, and NK Telco. Welcome again. This is Dennis Henschen. Along with me tonight is Jeff Henschen to do the stats and the color commentary uh, and another viewpoint on the game as the Marion Local Flyers off to a late start, but once again only having lost one. They are currently 6-1 and one on the year, where the Rangers are only, only have one win, and they are 1-8 and eight on the year. So, here's Jeff as we take a look at the keys to the game, brought to you by Keyhole Pizza for both squads. First of all, Jeffrey, let's look at Mary Local. Coach Guttemiller wants his team to be ready. He says they've struggled early on at the start of the games. The first quarter they've struggled, have been behind in some of those quarters. Wants his team to get off to a fresh, quick start here at New Knoxville. Also, he feels he needs to be, they need to make shots against his own defense. In other words, their perimeter games has got to be on fire to help open up the inside. And they want to put ball pressure against the Rangers, force the Rangers into kind of speeding up the game a little bit and getting more of Mary Local's tempo and putting a lot of havoc in the Ranger guards. And for New Knoxville, Coach Munger wants to win on D. What he means by that is get consecutive stops on defense. Don't let their team get an offensive rhythm. You know, get defensive stops back to back to force them scoreless and numerous trips. He also wants, knows his team needs to reduce the amount of turnovers they commit per game. They've been averaging nearly 20, and that's just too many. They don't shoot bad, but when you have to throw away the ball a lot, you don't get many opportunities. So he wants his team to take better care of the basketball because they know that uh, Mary Local is probably going to try to pressure them, and they also want to be strong with the ball on offense. Be patient, but if you have an opportunity and you have an open, you've got to be strong. Get to the foul line if you have to. The Rangers are a pretty decent shooting uh, team from the free throw line, so against some big guys in the middle of the Flyers, it's going to be kind of a chess match there, but the Rangers need to be strong with the basketball, and that also helps prevent those turnovers and uh, get some stops on defense. I want to thank both coaches for talking to us about their keys of the game. And again, that is sponsored by Keyhole Pizza. Thank you, Keyhole Pizza. Okay, we're going to have the starting lineups here in just a little bit with uh, both the uh, both squads, the referees. and uh, But first, we're going to have the national anthem. Our starting lineups will be brought to us by Emerson Climate Technology. So we'll pause here. been making the world's worst pizza for 30 years. That doesn't look like the world's worst pizza. Grandpa, I know why they call you Chunky Bob. It's because you use chunky ingredients on your pizza. Of course, it's not because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. Keyhole Pizza, come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. Together, we are family, working safely for our loved ones. We are problem solvers who challenge the status quo and drive improvement. We care about our customer relationships. We stay true to our values, caring and respecting one another. We embrace change as we journey through our career. We are Precision Strip, the world's leading processor of rolled steel and aluminum. Precision Strip, doing the exceptional. At Wilson Health, we're extending care beyond the walls of the hospital with resources designed to keep you in charge of your health. Our independence and connection to the community are unique in a world where big health care strives to act like corporations. Our tools may be the same, but we are different. 
We're neighbors, friends, and family who truly care about the people who live here. We call it caring without limits, and it's just the beginning of a whole new Wilson Health. Okay, we're back. Gary Schwalicki, our public address announcer, is giving us the referees. They are Mark Horton, Dylan Charney, and Nathan Baumgartners. So, now we're ready to introduce the Marion Local Flyers under the direction of Kurt Guttemoller. And the first man out will be Tate Hess. He's a senior, six foot two. And number 23, next man out is a sophomore, standing six foot eight. Number 23, Austin Niekamp. And then the big junior, number 33, Jack Kanapke, standing 6'9", and at guard, number 11, a senior also, 6'2", Jaden Mesher, and our final starter will be a senior at 6'1", that is Brandon Eink. Those are the players for the Marion Local Flyers. Like I said, under the direction of Kurt Guttemuller, he's at- assisted by J.M. Wally, Landon DeLauder, and the JV coach, Jacob Sherry. Now, for the New Knoxville Rangers, under the direction of Carson Munger in his second year, first man on the floor will be Preston Richling. He's a sophomore standing six foot five. And number 10 to follow him. Another sophomore, Jay Schrader, standing 5 foot 11. Now we have a junior coming out, and that will be number four, Jay Waterman. He is a 6 foot junior. And number three, Andrew Leffel. He is a 5 foot 9 inch ju- uh, junior. And in the center, Nope, I'll take that back. It'll be number 11, 5'11", junior, Troy Dwinger. That is the starting lineup for the Rangers. Like I said, Carson Munger in his second year is assisted by Josh Lisi and Keith Thomas. Those are your starters. They were brought to you by Emerson Climate Technology. That's the starting lineups. And they're huddled on the floor, get ready to go as... The Flyers will come out, as I noted, Jack Kanapke, a 6'9", junior, and Austin Niekamp, a 6'8", sophomore. And yeah, Knoxville limited in their size. They really have no one over six foot. Um, Starting. Yeah. yeah, you mentioned Preston Richley, six foot, or I think you said 6'5". He's number five, but he's really, right now, New Knoxville, no one over six feet, 6'1", and you have the two bigs inside. And Waterman's going to start off playing against Kanapke and try to front him, it looks like. And right now, the Rangers are in a man-to-man defense. And basically, the Flyers are looking. There's a lob inside. Oh, good hands. And there was a strip. I don't know it was off of who. It took good off job the Rangers. by Troy Dwinger. They lobbed it over. As I mentioned, Waterman, they're going to have him front Kanapke. So look for those overhead passes. And uh, good defense by the Rangers. But there was an interior lob that can't be stopped because of the size. Didn't go down, but there's a pass and a reverse layup on the left hand that goes in by Eink. So Eink draws a nice deuce in a hurry. Well, they miss on their first attempt, but they get second chance points, so they're successful in their first possession. The Flyers average 50 points a game, give up 40. New Knoxville averages 45 and gives up nearly 60. So defense has been a struggle for the Rangers here in some of their losses, but they don't shoot too badly. It's just the turnovers have been part of their Achilles heel early, or now what's almost halfway through the season. Just too many turnovers. Right now, Dwinger's being guarded by Kanapke, so there's a little bit of a mismatch there, but it might, and there's a pass that's de- caught or stolen. Tough play. Richland left his feet, but then he throws it above his head, and that's where all the hands are at, so it came, turned out to be an easy steal, a turnover against the Rangers, but an easy steal for the Flyers. There's a dump down inside to Kanapke. He looks for cutters, kicks it out, kicks it back in. They give it to him, and he does a baby J, J right inside the back. He's 6'8", or 6'9", but boy, he's strong. I mean, he turns, and Waterman's a strong, not height-wise, but he's a strong player for his size and good footwork by Kanapke to turn and, and kind of muscle through it and get a soft shot to drop. So Dwinger once again outside being guarded by Kanapke. 
Nearly a five second count as Kanapke was on him tight enough to get the count started. Look for the Rangers to be patient here. They want to be strong with the ball, but uh, don't want to force it. And they they know what they're looking for, if you will, on offense, if they can get the Flyers in the right situation. Richling from the left corner. Off the back of the iron, no good. Rebounded there by Kanapke. Outlet quickly there to Hess. Hess comes up the floor. They're overplaying the post players. So a lob is available if there's no backside. Yeah, that one got away from... Uh, Hess and picks up by the Rangers. I'm not sure the Rangers got a hand on it, but nonetheless, like I said, Hess lost a handle. Newcastle comes up with the ball. First turnover for the Flyers. And again, you have right now Kanapke out front away from the basket. Boy, good help side defense. Excellent. It was a great back door by uh, the Rangers, but the shot got blocked right underneath by the Neekamp, basket. By Kneecamp, I believe it was. And there's a nice move by Kneecamp as he penetrates, gets inside the... Well, he had a great defensive play, like you said, on the beautiful backdoor cut. They brought Kneecamp out, but... Or they brought Kanapke out, but Kneecamp's there for a second row defense and a nice block shot, and it gets the bucket on the other end. Six to nothing. There's a steal. Pass too soft. Ike has it, no good. Rebounded there, stuck back in by Mesher. Timeout by the Rangers. And I'll tell you in a second uh, if it's full or 30. And it's a 30, so we'll stay right here. Remind you as you're watching this game that NK Telco Sports and the sponsors are pleased to bring you replays of tonight's uh, tonight's high school varsity basketball action on NK Telco Channel 3 or on HD 503. Tonight's broadcast will be brought to you again on Tuesday, January the 17th at 5 p.m. and Saturday, January the 21st at 2 p.m. You can also watch more games on demand through YouTube, Facebook, or at nktelco.com slash sports. This is a timeout by the Rangers is brought to you by Precision Strip. So a Precision Strip timeout, the first one here of the game. The Rangers are trailing eight to nothing. Not the start that Coach Munger was hoping for. You know, talk about Coach Godemiller's keys of the game. Get off to a quick start. And the Flyers have done just that. And you know, Knoxville's only had the one turnover, but a couple good defensive plays by the Flyers, and they've offensively rebounded very nicely. They've got four points on two offensive rebounds, so they've taken care of business when they've had possession. Richling has it out on top. He's being guarded there by Kanapke. He's going to kick it over there to the left corner, and that was with the Leffel over to Dwanger. Now Leffel has it again. He penetrates. Schrader on top kicks it in. Richling didn't take that one. I think if he did hit one of his other ones. He probably would have pulled the trigger, but he didn't pull the trigger there. He's fouled as he penetrates, so it'll be uh, Rangers' wall out of bounds underneath their basket. Foul goes against number five, Eifert. He recently checked in the game. I missed when that happened. He maybe came in during the timeout. Aiden he Eifert, he's number five. He's a 5'11 senior. First foul, a nice play. There's a nice inbounds that went right down the center of the lane. Kick to Richling, and Richling scores the first deuce of the game it for the Rangers. And against Kanapke, who was trailing him, so not sure how Kanapke got, you know, how that happened, but the Rangers connect. Eifert's shot there is short, rebounded by the Rangers. Schrader has it on the rebound, and he'll take it across the timeline. First possession, the Flyers have not scored. That's a stop for the Rangers. Coach Munger would like to get a couple of those back-to-back. Trying to stop that offensive rhythm that they've got here the first half of the first quarter. What good There's hands. a steal right there. Mesher has that one. Kicks it over to Aiden Eifert. Eifert kicks it in to uh, Kanapke, and Kanapke nearly does a turnaround jam. I wonder, I looked down to check my stat, and I thought, did he almost dunk that on the turnaround? It looked he? like it to me. I so four points for Kanapke. He averages 15.7 on the year, and also nearly nine rebounds. So he is, you know, a, the real deal. And then, you know, 6'9", junior. He's been had a nice varsity career already as an underclassman, but uh, plays very well. There's a baseline pass to, sh to uh, what Rangers thread the needle there. Dwanger, I think it was. But the key word, it was a nice bounce pass. Those seemingly have a better way of getting through traffic. And they draw a foul. The second foul against Eifert. Pullman will enter the game for the Flyers. So will Hess again. 
And I believe Ryan Holman will step on the floor. And for New Knoxville, number 33, Tyler Lammers, 6'2", junior in for the Rangers, their first support player off the bench. And the Rangers really only play six guys. So these uh, youngsters, if you will, have a lot of minutes logged on the court. No seniors on the Rangers squad at all. Only juniors, sophomores, and freshmen. Leffel looked at it, didn't pull the trigger. Waterman there off the left wing inside the uh, arc. Gets a nice jumper to go down. 10-4 in favor of the Flyers. I think you mentioned some of the support players for the Flyers. Shot there by Pullman. That's good. I understood he was a three-point shooter, and he takes one right there, and he buries it. That's only his third make of the three-point shot this year. They played seven games, just his third make of the season. Is also in for the Flyers, number 30, Kyle Ungren. I don't know if you said his name. He's in the ball game I as well. That. I missed And that. Luke Pullman came in off the bench. And number three, Ryan Holman. You mentioned him, so he's in as well for Coach Kurt Gottemuller. Rangers really got it crowded down there in the corner. They need some spacing there. But the Flyers them. don't let up. They know that they can challenge you, and if you, if they, if you do beat them, they got good backside help. Yeah, the Rangers, uh, the Flyers have what you call rim protectors. Yes, and uh, right now, Kanapke, I think, is out, but you still have Ungren in there at 6'3", and Austin Neekamp at 6'8". Those are some big trees, if you will, as the Flyer foul goes against Tate Hess, his first, team's third. 14... A 13 to 4, I'm sorry, with a minute 44 to go here in period number one. First, bas first free throw there by Tyler Lammers is good. 13 5. So Lammers to get his second free throw, fouled in the act. That one is good. Lammers just recently entered the ball game, so points off the bench. Now it looks like Lammers. the Rangers have slipped to a zone. Maybe not. I think so. Yes, 1-2-2. Two, two. So we'll see once what develops there. Maybe change the pace. There's a dump inside there to Kanapke. Oh, Kanapke tried to uh, stuff that one, and the rebound was there to Ungren, but, that un but it was stolen away. So Kanapke's uh, shot attempt got pinned to the rim, and he couldn't get it over the lip. We had a nice move. He spun baseline, just maybe didn't get the footwork down quite right. And like I said, the rim actually ended up blocking the shot. And Rangers force a critical turnover, the second turnover of the quarter to prevent the Flyers from, I think it's probably, well, they hit the three-pointer from Pullman, but uh, they had gone a couple possessions without scoring until Pullman hit the three-point shot. Ball is way over there in the far corner again. Now they got it out on top of a little bit better spacing. Had about four guys standing in a 12-foot area. Nine-point lead for the Flyers with the biggest. Waterman's jumper cut it back to seven, but New Knoxville just needs to kind of settle down and keep it Waterman with a runner right down the center and got challenged, but no one came after him. Those are so nice. Put it up and in. Tough shots to block when you kind of have that floater. That's a new style. I mean, is he straight up and down? No, but that's what they do now. It's kind of a floating soft shot. And Waterman, four quick points here to match his jersey number in the first quarter and back to a five point deficit now for the Rangers. Final, what, 15 seconds of the quarter now. 13 8 in favor of the Flyers. Ball over there on the right wing, now the right corner. I think they're just going to hold it, take that last shot, whatever that might be there. Well, didn't, thought maybe it was going to be a three. Well, they're looking there's inside. A, there's shoot. one from the baseline. I don't, think, I don't think it got off in time. So, with one quarter in the book, it is the Flyers 13, the Rangers 8. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back in just a moment. CarriageWorks has expanded and now can hold up to 25 cars in our service bay. CarriageWorks thrives on customer satisfaction. We accomplish that by providing top-of-the-line technology. CarriageWorks now uses a laser beam system to measure down to the millimeter of factory specs to better service you and get you back on the road. CarriageWorks has a brand new top-of-the-line paint booth that uses waterborne paint. There's no job too big or too small for CarriageWorks. We are certified collision specialists. Come in and see us today. Ohio means jobs all Glaze County has a job for you. Grand Lake Health System has over 800 employees. Included is Joint Township District Memorial Hospital and multiple physician practices. And we're now hiring a variety of positions that fit all education and skill levels. Plus, you'll get a great benefit package offered to both full and part-time workers. 
Join this rewarding career and help your community in the process. Contact Ohio Means Jobs Auglaize County for all your employment needs. Back here at the barn, start of quarter number two coming up. Flyers lead by five, 13 to eight. So and nice Jeff finish for the sport. Rangers. They, remember, they got out to an 8-0 lead to the Flyers. Coach Munger for New Knoxville takes a timeout to 447 mark. New Knoxville trailed 8-0, so they've actually outscored the Flyers 8-5 in the, in the final half of the first quarter, so much better job for the Rangers. Rangers shot the ball very nicely in the first quarter, 3 of 5 from the field, only five shots. Murray Local, a very good 6 of 10, and of those four misses, they got two rebounds, or two of those they were able to stick back for offensive second-chance points to help them in the first quarter, but a good start for the Flyers. It kind of fizzled near the end and a good answer by the Rangers to bring this back to just a five-point game. Yeah, Jay Waterman with two crucial, critical, crucial baskets in there. None of them were easier. A pull-up jumper from about 15. There he pulls one from the corner on the three range, and it's good. So now the Rangers are called back to 11 to 13. There's a three from the right side oh, by Jaden Messer. Jaden Bang, Mesher. bang. His uh, 22nd made triple. Boy, the, some of the team's best shooters, Jaden uh, Mesher, 38% from triple land. Jay Waterman, a 35% three-point shooter. Both scored threes for their respective ball clubs. Not only is Waterman a strong type ball player, he's a lefty. That helps. Now there's Schrader up on top. Now they give it back to Schre to uh, Waterman. Now Next back to shot Schrader. shot by Jaden Mesher, though. New Knoxville, you, you since kind of had some momentum going. But, boy, Mesher, that triple, that was a big shot to kind of squelch the Rangers' offensive kind of confidence, if you will, and keep that put that lead back up to five. Schrader thought about it, gave it over to uh, Waterman, and Waterman That's penetrates, right. and he's yeah. going to be fouled. Being strong with the basketball, attack when you can. Great foul. Dunashville's yet to commit a foul. This one will go against number 15, Brandon Eink, his first team's fourth. Fourth on the Flyers in this half. None Lammers on the Rangers. Will sit down. He made those two free throws. Doesn't He scores about two points a game. Does Lammers came in. Got some big free throws. The free throws you know, are big for the New Knoxville. It gives him a chance to score when no one's playing defense on him. And Richling has it now over to Leffel. Leffel backs up, being guarded there by Niekamp. That's 5-9 on 6-8, or 6-8 on 5-9. There's a pass over to Waterman on the right wing. Now well, back Rangers to Richling on top. The definitely are spreading it out, though. They're using the full half court, if you will, trying to bring... Mary Local out. Mary Local's, for the most part, coming out on them. They're not right. sitting back, so... And we've seen New Knoxville get a nice couple back doors. They haven't, you know, Mary Local, one time they blocked it with a nice second row defense. Make that three blocks now as they've uh, done a nice job guarding the rim on some New Knoxville drives. Tate Hess came way over from his backside help position and blocked that one cleanly out of bounds, yeah. but it stays with the Rangers. Another look here in that possession, New Knoxville. We'll try to take advantage of that. Schrader has it. Now it's back up on top to Leffel. Over to Richling out on top. Kind of just standing straight, waiting until they see that the referees put the clock on them. And then they start in almost into a rotation motion game. There's a ball that got away from Dwanger, stole by uh, Waterman, picked up, I mean, after a near steal. Now back to Leffel. But boy, Mary Local, you know, it's half court. They are coming out and playing. You know, the, they force a turnover there, the fourth of the game for New Knoxville. Eink with a layup that's too hard. The rebound there is not good. Mesher, or uh, Kanapke had it. Now there's a scrum on the floor, and it will be Dwinger in a tie up with Nikan. So It'll still be Mary Local basketball, but boy, for the Rangers, at least they can come back and try to get some bodies inside on defense. They'll bring Lammers in, one of the bigger players for the Rangers on the court now to try to... The, flyer, to, the Flyers missed two point-blank shots. Yep. The initial shot and a tip-up rebound. Okay, ball underneath their basket. Kick it out. Now they're looking for a shot in the corner. There it is by Mesher, and Mesher's shot is good. And that was a three-pointer, and I believe uh, Marion Local has called a timeout. Yep. And it's also a 30, so we'll take this Emerson 
Climate Technology timeout with them. Stay right here and tell you that we have some additional sponsors that are responsible for these broadcasts. I'd like to thank Burke's Petroleum, Chill Tech LLC, Cy Schwederman Incorporated, Dickman Supply, Hometown Opportunity, Halsman Automotive, Park National Bank, Securecom, and St. Henry Bank. Those are additional sponsors besides those that I have announced previously and also the sponsors of the game. i just give them here real quick. Keys to the game were brought to you by Keyhole Pizza. The scoreboard sponsor is First National Bank Think First. Starting lineups were brought to you by Emerson Climate Technology. Precision Strip is our timeout sponsor. Player of the game will be brought to you by NK Telco. And the live stream sponsor is brought to you by New Knoxville Supply. Boy, Jaden Meshers hit some big shots here in this quarter. New Knoxville, after a rough start, kind of came back, trailed by five and a half, got the three-pointer by Waterman. But Meshers hit a couple of three-pointers and just a bad decision there for the Rangers. They turned it over. But Meshers hit a couple of triples. The last one, the first one was a stop to, do, to answer New Knoxville's three-point bucket. And the last one was to take advantage of that multiple opportunity look they got. And now a quick turnover, so a chance here to get a double-digit lead for the Flyers. There's a drive and a pick up by Hess, and that's off the glass and good. Goose. That's a tough one to stop. He's on the move. He elevates well to an easy shot or an easier shot for the Rangers, and now a 10-point lead. There's a penetration by Dwinger. Back to back over to turnovers for the Rangers. And Leffel is going to be called for a foul as... Tough break for Andrew Messer Leffel. was driving. It looked like the arm maybe extended a little bit. But, yeah, on the other end, Marion Local switched to a zone defense. And that foul goes against number 11. So no. it's... Uh, Not 11. No, it's on, it's on Leffel. No, they said so. Dwinger. I, I'm sorry. Wow. I thought it was on Leffel. There's a shot by Kneecamp, and that trickles in from about 12 feet. Kneecamp with a deuce. They stay in the 1-3-1, so they're looking just to get a trap someplace. Dwinger lost it the last time. This now he's very tough to makes it very tough to reverse the basketball. You've got some tall bodies up there. It's tough to reverse. He almost trapped, and Coach Munger is going to take a timeout and discuss it with his ball club. And we'll take a full timeout with him as this is a precision strip timeout. We'll be right back after this message. We are here. And here. And here. Minster Bank is everywhere, providing every banking service that you need to keep your financial life in order. Whether you are on the go or stopping by one of our branches, Minster Bank is here for you. We proudly support the communities where you live. Minster Bank, helping people achieve financial success. Unpack your potential with a career at Pratt Industries. Working at Pratt Industries is more than a job. It's a sustainable career. Pratt Industries to me is a job. It's, it's my career. It's the way I put food on my table, but I love what I do. We offer competitive pay, excellent benefits, and opportunities for career advancement. To apply, visit careers.prattindustries.com. All right, play is about to resume. Rangers will take it out in front of the scoreboard there. Schrader has it. He will trigger it in. Looking for Dwinger and Richling, and it goes to Dwinger. And good call by Marion Local here. New Knoxville takes timeout because they had some trouble. Nope, they stay in the 1-3-1. I thought maybe Marion Local was going to maybe go back to man-to-man -man so New Knoxville, you know, would forget about Wasted. everything. But uh, they stay in the 1-3-1, and if anything Marion Local has done to help New Knoxville is they fouled them, and this is going to be the fifth team foul against the Flyers. E Austin Ekamp, his first foul, team's fifth. So if Knoxville can kind of say, almost put their head down and run into the Flyers, maybe get some opportunities from the free throw line and knock on wood, the Rangers have done a nice job from the free throw line this season. Shrey, or, uh, Waterman's pass there to Dwinger along the baseline is Luke Coleman, nice interception. 
There's a shot there by Mesher. Another three. Is that his third one, Jeff? It's his third. He came in at 38% with 21 makes. He's not missed tonight. He's now hit 22, 23, and 24. And what at one point a couple minutes ago was a one-point lead is now 15. And there's a long pass, but it's run down there by Hess. Kicks it inside to Kanapke. Kanapke up for a two-footer, right. and it's good. Talk about strength. He, there was a contact there. I'm not saying a foul should have been called, but he was, he was, you know, there was. He, he got bumped. It was men against boys is what it was. He's just that much stronger, and it didn't really even slow him down. Schrader from the left wing, no good. Oh, nice rebound there by Richling, all in one motion. Put it up, and it was too hard. Here, once again, is Mesher. That one is his first miss. Rebounded there by by Waterman. Dwanger has it. But the Flyers continue to shoot well. Six of ten in the first quarter. And Six, there's a uh, near seven steal. Seven for ten here in the second quarter. And, and they force another it. turnover. At six turnovers of the Rangers here in the second quarter. Nine in the ball game. The Rangers got the, not this, this trip, but the previous one where they got the shot. They got the ball to the center of the floor inside that zone, and they were able to do something with it. Move it get, to get an open shot. Yes. Everything right now. Yeah, it's tough. You got some big bodies, and it's almost like if you dribble into them, you, you, you got to throw it over this huge wall because you said it. It was men versus boys. So it's, I um, mean, Schrader or Dwingers and those guys are, and Leffel, they are being guarded by big people. And there's jump ball. Jump yeah. ball. It'll be a turnover. Leffel gets his hands on the rock. Just and the first turnover with the Flyers here in a the quarter. They're only their third in a ball game in Knoxville, as I mentioned just minutes or seconds ago. Twelve turnovers in the first quarter, six of them in the second quarter. So Kyle Ungren was tied up there, but Kyle Ungren is in the middle of that zone. Kicks over to Schrader from Waterman in the middle. Dwanger goes to the baseline. He's in a trap now. And Marion had opened up in a man-to-man in Knoxville kind of how do you want to say? And Dwinger did a nice job, shot. but uh, if the zones really put some handcuffs on the Rangers. They're going to get a break here with kind of a careless foul, you know, for the Flyers. You hate to foul a three-point shooter, but uh, Dwinger's going to have three of them. Pullman is the guilty party as the six-foot senior fouls Dwinger in the act of shooting, and he'll be shooting three. And I mentioned how good New Knoxville's been shooting free throws, 72% as a team. Dwinger is one of the lower shooters, but still a pretty good 65%. I mean, not awful, but, you know, when you got guys shooting 80, 81%, those are good numbers, and 72 as a team is really a good mark if you're uh, looking for what numbers you want to hit. Dwanger makes his first, misses his second. Here comes his third. Dwanger leads the Rangers in scoring at 10 points a game. Missed a couple games, a weekend, if you will, with uh, a sickness. So he's not played in all nine games. I think he's played in seven of them. Makes his third attempt. Two There's a three. baseball pass. Ooh, that's way over everybody's head. It'll go back to the other end. It'll be underneath the Rangers' back basket as Aiden's Eifert's pass was a little long. Flyers have rotated in a number of guys. You know, New Knoxville plays six. And I've got one, two, three, four support players for the Flyers already. So they've played nine. So a lot of bodies to, to kind of rotate through. And boy, they all seem like they can replace each other with size and quickness that they don't lose a thing when they do rotate or do, when they do have to sub. Schrader has it, does a reverse along the baseline. Richling got their ball. Now he kicks it back to Schrader back in the far corner. And now Schrader walks it up. Goes inside to Waterman. He looks, but he's the got... The Rangers, when you talk about the spacing, you got to be ready to catch and score. The Murray Local doesn't give you time to mess around, if you will. You've got to... Not that you have to shoot every time, but you got to be ready to score. Nice move by Dwanger. Dwanger, and there's a tip in by Richling as he got the bounce and pushed it back up and in. Well, he's had a couple opportunities. He's not a tall individual, six feet tall, but he can jump. He almost had one in possession before. This time he gets credit for the bucket. 13-point flyer lead. There's a drive right there. Stop, pop, no good. And Kanapke right over the top of... Of Waterman and grabs it and puts it back up and in. They've capitalized. That is now two, four, six, nine points that the Flyers have already had at least on second chance opportunities. And right there, like you said, yeah, Kanapke just able to reach up, get it, and score. It wasn't over the back. It's just a size right there. Advantage of the ball to the right spot. Kanapke took advantage of it. Richling there has it. Squares. No, got Overhead it. pass. Almost That's where the hands stolen. are at. Bounce pass. 
panic and put it above her head, that's where the hands are at. Now to DeWinger. Under oh, 30 seconds. Yep. Waterman oh. has it, turns around, looks at Leffel. Leffel draws two, stops, pops. Richling once again had the rebound but couldn't get it to go. Long pass, reverse layup. Nice play there by Jaden Mesher. 12 seconds. But it didn't take him long to score, did it? No, no, no. That was done in about three seconds. They had the strength and the quickness to advance the ball pretty quick down the court. Dwinger, well, from the left wing, there's a three at the buzzer. So Dwinger dents the board with a three. That brings the score to 18 for the Rangers, 32 for the Flyers. First half is in the books. We'll be back for the first half stats in just a moment and get ready for the third quarter tip. But first, this message. Are you looking for a rewarding career? Lincoln Electric Automation in Coldwater and Fort Loramie supplies top-of-the-line automation systems to manufacturers. Lincoln Electric Automation routinely develops its team through hiring and by offering advanced technical training. We understand that every employee matters and every role contributes to the success of our business. We offer advancement opportunities, competitive wages, and benefit packages. Visit LincolnElectric.com and get on track to a better career and a a better future. New Knoxville Supply Company, the supply source for residential, commercial, and industrial jobs. We specialize in plumbing products from many name brands, electrical products from replacing a light switch to rewiring an entire house, heating, air conditioning, and geothermal products, sheet metal ductwork, installations, and service. We are now housing more inventory so all the hardware items you need to complete the job are available right away. New Knoxville Supply. Stop in, call, or check us out online at newknoxvillesupply.com. Whether you do business from a corner store or a corner office, there is one asset your business cannot do without. The internet. Everything from sales and marketing, training and shipping, PR, HR, and R&D, your business relies on a fast, reliable, and secure connection. And now, it's more important than ever to partner with an internet provider you can trust. Get Flight Fiber for Business, backed by local tech support from NK Telco. Call today. Hi, I'm Mallory. My grandpa's been making the world's worst pizza for 30 years. That doesn't look like the world's worst pizza. Grandpa, I know why they call you Chunky Bob. It's because you use chunky ingredients on your pizza. Of course, it's not because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. Keyhole Pizza, come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. Okay, we're back here at the barn where we're getting ready for the uh, second half. Here's Jeff with the first half stats and uh, thoughts about the game. Well, pretty good shooting by both teams. New Knoxville in the um, first half, four of 10 from two point range. Two of four from three point range. So when you look at New Knoxville, six of 14, that's 42%. Not a lot of volume though, just the 14 attempts, but a very good percentage, six of four, six makes out of 14 attempts. You think that's good, you go to Mary Local side, they were 10 of 16 from two point shooting, four of six from three point shooting. They finished 14 of 22 for a blazing 63%. So New Knoxville did a nice job, just not enough volume shots. The key there is too many turnovers, nine turnovers, especially in the second half. The 1-3-1 one, one really forced the Rangers into some, uh, I think, turnovers, some bad decision making, and then the Flyers just got red hot. Both quarters, they shot very well, six of 10 in the first, eight of 12 in the second. Uh, big marker there, Jaden Mesher, three for three, three-point shooting in the second quarter. Helped them out, scored New Knoxville 19 to 10 in the second quarter to take a 14-point lead. If you're New Knoxville, maybe you feel fortunate that you're only down by 14. It could be worse. So we'll see what's what the second half brings. Leading scores in the ball game for New Knoxville. Jay Waterman with seven. Four from Preston Richling, five from Troy Dwinger, two from Tyler Lammers, their total of 18. Four, Mary Local, 13 from Jaden Mesher, eight from Jack Kanapke, four from Austin Neekamp, three from Luke Pullman, two apiece from Tate Hess and Brandon Ike, their total of 32. I mentioned the nine turnovers for New Knoxville, only four turnovers for the Flyers, and uh, the good shooting by the Flyers, they missed eight shots, and those eight missed shots, 
They got six offensive rebounds, and they turned that into nine points. So they have been very efficient on offense, and um, it's just amazing. I think, though, that I still am kind of a little surprised New Knoxville is going down 14. You think it could be worse, but New Knoxville shot the ball pretty well and made some free throws. Uh, Marion Local has not shot a foul shot yet. Yeah, well, Jaden Mesher is the answer man for Marion. As soon as they need something, he delivered twice. And the first one he got was right after New Knoxville hit one to cut it to one point. So kind of keep that in your memory as the game rolls on. That was a big moment for New Knoxville. If they get a stop, would have a chance to take the lead. Uh, Mesher said, no, I'm going to take care of business and uh, didn't allow that to happen. Uh, there's a shot there, I believe, that was Pullman. Pullman shot that. Luke Pullman started Long the rebound second picked half. up there by the Rangers. And this is a 1-3-1 one, one zone defense that they went to, and they forced a uh, ill-advised pass. Charge. Okay, so Dwinger takes a charge. Good job. Now Dwinger threw it away, so rather than put his head down and mope, he hustles back, plays good defense, picks up the second foul against Tate Hess, turnover for the Flyers, and, you know, you got to have a short memory, but New Knoxville, again, that's just kind of a, a tough view down there with all those bodies, a lot of blue shirts, and if you're not in the right spot, nice bounce pass, by the way, by Leffel, if you're not in the right spot to help your team, it's, 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 it's a bad business to be in if you're the guy with the ball. You just can't see. Yeah, you're going to get double teamed and, and then Oxel looking at everybody as their size or bigger. And Mary Local, there's a kick. They, they're pretty athletic, too. New Knoxville, when they make the pass, you know, when you catch it, there's already a blue shirt in your face. So, you know, I mentioned men versus boys. These are some size versus not so much size and quickness, but, you know, it just comes down to patience and taking care of the basketball. But like there, there's I, there's nowhere a good bounce pass. You gotta, you gotta split the seams and find some money. You gotta help your buddy out. Before the Schrader game started, they were level. doing their walkthrough here while I was setting up our equipment. Coach Munger and Coach Thomas and Coach Lisi were talking about when you see there's trouble coming, what are you going to do to help your guy out? And that's kind of what we're seeing here with New Knoxville against his own defense. When that trap comes, where are you going to go to help the guy out with the basketball so he can get you to pass? You've got to present yourself, and you've got to get open. And sometimes it's throwing it to space, knowing that your buddy's going to be there. And yep. Like you said, Jeff, when they when they when when you get out of one double team and pass the ball, there's a next one in a hurry, and, and they've got more size than you. The guards up on top are finding that out right now. Richling got the ball. He's almost instantly tra trapped. There's a back door by Schrader who kicks it over to Leffel, who steps yeah, just, around yeah, one. Yeah, like Sarah, they all know that they've got a big body to contend with. New Knoxville kind of, I won't say he turned down a couple shots, just thought better of it because they couldn't get off quick enough because of how well Mary Local reacted and, and retreated. Aiden Eifert, he picked up two fouls in the first half, didn't get a lot of playing time, and uh, he checks in now at the 6-16 mark of the third quarter. Nobody has scored here in the half. New Knoxville has won the time of possession battle here for sure in the third quarter. There's a jump pass that does get some exit. Now there's Waterman with uh, three from the left side. Balls kicked out long, picked up there on the other side of the timeline no, by the Rangers. With the Rangers, the possession kind of continues. But you mentioned that jump pass. I'm all in favor of that because you got to be able to jump and snap and find the guy that's open. But you better make the decision right because when you don't, yeah, it's it, no better than staying on the ground and panicking and putting the ball above your head and throw it into their hands. Same that, result. That, that's At least true. if you travel, that's a dead ball. Lars Leffel thought he was going to pull the trigger, and he, he dropped it and, and slid right. Now he's back up. Now it's over deflected, to Schrader. Chase it down. Got deflected. But, uh, yeah, when that double team comes, someone's open. And yeah, I just think New Knoxville might be standing a little bit. Waterman with a three from the right side. Level with the three from the left, left side, and he buries it. So 21-32. Nice possession. The Rangers milked a lot of time off the clock, got multiple looks, and more importantly, came away with points. Good good job by the uh, Rangers there on a three-pointer by Andrew Leffel. About four minutes and 55 uh, seconds left to go here in period number three. 21-32 in favor of the Flyers. Blue and gold has it from the center. Pullman, nothing. 
Kanapke, something not there. He yep. got fouled, and he's going to the line. These will be their first free throw attempts of the ball game, unless I didn't record one. But uh, I just don't remember. They've shot so well. Yeah, yeah there weren't many, and uh, they had some shot. They have some shots in transition, but. I think these are the first free throws of the night for Jack Kanapke, a 54% free throw shooter. And he buries the first one. Who came in? 23? Kanapke. Austin Kanapke. Yes. Kanapke stepped back on the floor for Mesher. Kanapke's next shot is good, so he's two for two for a 50% shooter. He looked very smooth there. Ten points in the game for Kanapke. He averages 15.7. And yes, makes the first two points for the Unger on the floor for the Flyers. Le Leffel had a pass. Third foul on Eifert. Boy, he can't. Uh, you know, what's key there is Leffel, when the pass came, made a step to the ball. Eifert was already in motion because he wanted it. Leffel said, I want it too. And when Leffel got the ball, contact. Good things happen when you move. We talked a little bit about that, I think, in a JV game where we saw a flyer can't think of his name. He had countless steals. He just read the pass and went after it where the offensive receiver stood still. And, uh, you know, it's not going to win when you're playing against guys that are a little bit quicker. So you got to move. And these double teams, you got to present yourself so that, again, your friend can find an outlet. Mitchell Ranley on the floor for the Flyers now. Hess has it. Picks up a pick there from Ungern at the top. Now over to Ranley. Skip pass to the backside. Baseline pass shot. Long rebound and put it by Austin Niekamp up and in. Offensive stick back buckets. They've had two of them here. Remember last time was when Kanapke got fouled. He scored in that possession and now Niekamp scores on offensive rebounds. Turnover Rangers. Charge. And there's oh a blocking my. foul. Okay. I don't think Dwanger got, got there, there in time. He got one early. Oh, nope, Schrader. Schrader. Yep. So back to the foul line for the second time here in the half for the Flyers. This time it'll be Kanap, or I'm sorry, Kneecamp. He's a only attempted seven free throws has Austin Kanap, or Austin, I'm sorry, Austin Kneecamp. Only seven attempts this season. And that one is good. So Kneecamp gets a point. Only shooting 29% from the line. Is that what you said? Two of seven. All right. Uh, that's not many. You're right. And Tyler Lammers back in for the Rangers. He makes this one. He might raise it all the way to 50%. Yeah, it'll jump in a hurry. But yeah. I would have thought he would have shot more free throws just being, you know, playing a post player. But uh, he does look pretty good there as both the big men have con converted on four for four here in the quarter for the Flyers. And here comes a double team. Looks like that's the defense that Coach Guttermiller has. There's a skip pass across court. And you know what? About not by Randling. Yeah, it's tough. This is not easy. This is not casual basketball. And they're facing this this half. Tomorrow night, New Knoxville travels to Jackson Center. Maybe not quite as much size, but you want to talk about a defensive Game. in your face. Yep. Uh, disciplined defense. They're going to face it four quarters tomorrow night. So they're going to, you know, this is going to be very mentally, physically challenging basketball for the Rangers because everything is being obstructed. You don't even get a, a free look. Waterman, Waterman with a step back from the right corner. No good. Rebounded there by Randling. He takes across the line himself. Skip pass all the way to the other corner there to Pullman. Pullman. Didn't pull the trigger. He's over two and a quarter. If he'd have made one or so of those first ones, but that time he kind of thought about it and thought, well, I'm going to Milk the clock a little bit here and run the offense. Shot there by Kneecamp. That's good. That's a three-pointer, too. That's his fifth make of the season. 28% from that range. And so not a very common three-point shooter. He's made that. Plus, he's also made two free throws. He's had a nice nice third quarter plus a regular field goal. So he's done. He's hit. He scored for the cycle. Free throw, two-point shot, and a three-point shot here in the third quarter for uh, Kneecamp. Okay, Waterman has it, has to negotiate. Nice move. A nice move nice, by Schrader. Nice. A dump off inside to Tyler Lammers. Doesn't go. Nice move, though. Nice pass by Schrader. Head and shoulder, nothing fancy. And uh, you don't have to be six, six to do that move. Schrader's 5'10", and he did it nicely and made a nice pass. 
There's a shot from on top, rebounded underneath by Ranley, and Ranley is going to put it back up and in. We got a 30-second timeout here for the Marion Local Flyers, so we'll take this precision strip timeout just to remind you that NK Telco Sports and its sponsors are pleased to bring you replays of tonight's high school varsity basketball action on NK Telco Channel 3 on High Definition 503. Tonight's game can be re rebroadcast. It will be rebroadcast on January the 17th at 5 p.m. So an evening evening chance to watch it there. Or on Saturday afternoon, January the 21st at 2 p.m. You can also watch more of these games on demand through YouTube, Facebook, or at nktelco.com slash sports. Remember that code or remember that uh, uh, website so that you can get into uh, the right format and you can pick up these games, both current and and those that have been played in the past, and you can go back quite a way. So you can see a whole season. Well, the Flyers' so, defense has been very good here in the third quarter. Awesome. Source, do Knoxville. Awesome. You know, into some tough contested shots. Do Knoxville's only been able to make one field goal. And on the other end, they're taking their size is becoming evident. They've made some free throws, but they've scored six points off of offensive rebounds. Three offensive rebounds put them right back for six points. So that's beginning to capitalize, materialize for them. Schrader with our. Uh, Luffle with a drive. Waterman comes across, fakes the back door. Dwanger has it back on top. Dwanger drives, kicks it to Schrader, who stops, pops, penetrates, and doesn't make it, doesn't go down. There's a steal by Dwanger. Dwanger wow. is fouled as he tries to go up. And Ranley is the guilty party that time. The six foot junior got him. Knoxville may not be tall, but boy, they're. Their guys are got some good foot speed. You know, a lot of these guys play soccer. New Knoxville had a very nice soccer season, and they're, they're kind of built to run, if you will, and they have good stamina. They only play six guys, so these guys, you know, have to be in condition, and uh, they seem to, you know, be able to battle throughout the game. It's just uh, when you're facing a bigger, taller enemy, it makes it tougher. So Dwinger puts his first one up, and it's good. That makes it 22-43 in favor of the Flyers. A minute and 14 to go here in period number three. Next one, likewise, nothing but net. Dwanger, four for five from the line tonight. That'll help that percentage a little bit. To 63 will bump that up a little bit. There's a drive by Mesher. Wow, Spin that's good. and in. Nice move. Nice move. Well, he can do it on the outside. He hit those three triples in the second quarter, and that's a nice move to the basket. Pivoted nicely, protected, and just was very confident and strong to finish. Had a nice quality shot at the bank board. There's a shot three from the uh, left corner by, there by Dwanger. No good. Rebounded by Holman. Holman has it. Kicks it over to Pullman. Pullman looks inside. That's stolen. Third Richard turnover of the quarter. In. So back-to-back -back turnovers by the Flyers in their last two possessions. Flyers have changed defense. Now they're man-to-man. -man. Yes. That 1-3-1, one, one, you know, again, maybe during a timeout, New Knoxville talked about how to break it, and then you flip a whole new defense on them, and... There's a back door, Schrader, now he gets stuck. Yeah. Kicked out to Waterman, and Waterman's short, three is short from the right wing. Now there's a near steal by Dwinger, but he's called for foul. So fouled Ranley as Ranley was gonna try to deliver a pass to a cutter. Second foul on Troy Dwinger, third of the half for New Knoxville. 23-45 with uh, 22 ticks left in period number three. The Flyers oh. have outscored the Rangers 13 to five here in the third quarter. Noah Holland in the game for the Rangers. There's a turnaround inside there by Ungren. No good, rebounded by Dwinger. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven. Rich, oh, it got it punched free. Long pass quickly over to Ranley. Ranley steps over, steps through, couldn't quite make it. A nice move. He got himself wide open. So three quarters in the book. It is 23 for New Knoxville, 45 for Marion Local. We'll be right back with the third quarter stats. Together, we are family, working safely for our loved ones. We are problem solvers who challenge the status quo and drive improvement. We care about our customer relationships. We stay true to our values, caring and respecting one another. We embrace change 
as we journey through our career. We are Precision Strip, the world's leading processor of rolled steel and aluminum. Precision Strip, doing the exceptional. At Wilson Health, we're extending care beyond the walls of the hospital with resources designed to keep you in charge of your health. Our independence and connection to the community are unique in a world where big healthcare strives to act like corporations. Our tools may be the same, but we are different. We're neighbors, friends, and family who truly care about the people who live here. We call it caring without limits, and it's just the beginning of a whole new Wilson Health. About ready for period four. Here's Jeff with the stats. Well, the Flyers continue to shoot maybe not so well, just three of eight, but compared to 63% they shot in the first half, it is off their pace, but they hit 4-4 from the foul line, so they did something they did, did not do in the first half, and that was get to the line. They take advantage of that, but the offensive rebound and three offensive rebounds, they put them all right back up for six points. New Knoxville third quarter, just one of eight from the field. It was a three-pointer early in the quarter, but uh, have not scored since... The end when Dwenger hit two free throws, so a 13-5 advantage for the Flyers in the third quarter. Richling in the center there with the ball. Handling a little bit, he kicked it around to the backside of Dwenger. Dwenger attacks the glass, has his shot rejected by Kanapke. And, and good defense by Kanapke. I mean, Dwenger Flyers. ran basically right into him. Kanapke stood vertical, and Dwenger kind of ran in there. Kanapke strong enough to, you know, hold his balance and then block the shot. There's a shot from the left three in the way of deep in the corner by Pullman. He buries his second one, I believe, on the He's evening. now two for five from three-point range. Just his third and fourth made triple of the season, so he's not a, you know, he's having a good night tonight, but he's matched his season total of two with two here in the ball game. Six points for the six-foot senior. Luffel has it on the left side, stops, he picks up his dribble, kicks it over to Dwanger on the right side of the circle. Flyers opened up in man-to-man -man defense in the game and then went to 1-3-1 one, one for like, it seemed like quarters two and three. And, uh, and there's a zig where you zag as Waterman stepped up, Schrader delivered a pass low and there's nobody home. Fifth turnover of the second half, 14th of the ball game for New Knoxville. There's a nice drive by Hess. And there, Dwanger again tries to draw the foul. And it's kind of, I don't know how, how you really would teach that. Dwanger was standing still. The, the offensive player basically went diagonal against him. So either you get out of the way to not have any contact because a charge has got to be, I guess, straight on. But that's a tough play when you're trying to draw the charge. And the player, in this case, Hess, doesn't run you over, he goes it's diagonal. So yeah, it's not a clean directional blow. And Dwinger gets called for the foul for basically standing still. <laughs> well, he leaned in probably trying to get some contact. But yes, you're but right. give Hess credit. He did not do that head-on collision, which you know the offensive player then gets the advantage and Hess connects on his first free throw attempt. He's a 75% shooter on the season and the Flyers are six for six here in the ball game from the free throw line. So Dwanger comes across the timeline with it, crosses over, kicks it to Richling. Richling goes to the left side of the circle, stops at 15 foot mark and buries a J. Six points now for Richling. He's been around the, the basket and around the rim. He's had a couple offensive near uh, putbacks in the first half, had a putback and a couple that just missed, but uh, Good legs help you do that when you're only six feet tall. He can he can jump. There's another block shot by Waterman. Waterman. He Good defense got by Jay of, Waterman. He got ahead of Kanapke and went where the ball was going to be. Schrader to Richling. Richling into the paint. Kicks back out. Oh, that's going to be a T.O. As it's touched by the Rangers, so it'll be turned over to the Flyers in front of their bench. You know, Lammers caught the ball there, and he quickly swung it around. But if you're not going to even catch and square up, you don't bring the defense on you a little bit. You know, did the right thing moving the ball, but sometimes you know, all the Mary Local guys, they basically are catching on a ball reversal. They're looking at the rim, so the Rangers come attack, and that helps spread the floor. There was a shot by Hess. Got yeah, his own yeah, rebound, looks, and he missed right? that. Yep. Richling has it. 
has it knocked away. He probably has his dribble again. Lambert's. I wondered the same thing. He didn't use it, but I thought he had another knocked one. it away. Yeah, yeah. There's Richling on the right wing. Cross stops, picks it up in a scrum. Looks around, bounce pass to Waterman. Waterman on the left side with a nice lead pass. He beats Kneecamp to the glass with a layup. That was Scoop a tough layup. shot because Kneecamp was there and had to really arch it over the hands of Kneecamp to avoid the block shot. And he used have the that scoop shot that made him a little bit bigger. That stretches him out. And got the, the touch, if you will, off the glass to soften it up and get a nice bucket. Waterman now with nine points in the ball game. And right there, Kanapke. I thought he was going to jam it. So timeout on the Flyers as Kanapke gets about a two-foot turnaround right on the right in front of the basket. And we have a full timeout on the floor called by the coach. We'll take this precision strip timeout with them, and we'll be right back. CarriageWorks has expanded and now can hold up to 25 cars in our service bay. CarriageWorks thrives on customer satisfaction. We accomplish that by providing top-of-the-line technology. CarriageWorks now uses a laser beam system to measure down to the millimeter of factory specs to better service you and get you back on the road. CarriageWorks has a brand new top-of-the-line paint booth that uses waterborne paint. There's no job too big or too small for CarriageWorks. We are certified collision specialists. Come in and see us today. Ohio means jobs Auglaize County has a job for you. Grand Lake Health System has over 800 employees. Included is Joint Township District Memorial Hospital and multiple physician practices. And we're now hiring a variety of positions that fit all education and skill levels. Plus, you'll get a great benefit package offered to both full and part-time workers. Join this rewarding career and help your community in the process. Contact Ohio Means Jobs Auglaize County for all your employment needs. Okay, back here with the 4.30 to go in period number four. Flyers lead 52-27. And here comes Dwinger across the timeline with the dribble. Adi. He's over. Kyle Adi in got, for the yeah, Flyers. I was going to say Adi was guarding him. Now here comes Waterman. He has it. Like I said, he threw, delivers the pass a little hard, but knocked off of the blue and gold. So it'll stay with red and white. Waterman is strong, and he's a lefty with quickness. So he has a slight advantage over most of us righties. And there's a pass to Schrader as he comes over on the left wing. Does a crossover, does a pull. Three from there off the back side of the iron. Looks like the Flyers during that timeout, they've uh, a lot of support players. I don't think any starters are on the court right now for the Flyers. Nope, I don't think so either. These guys, I don't know if Adi played in the first half, but nope, um, I didn't see him. everyone else has been out there. We've got Eifert and Homan and Ranley and Ungren. So, yeah, these are all, let's say, five fresh faces here from the uh, starting lineup. And Adi takes one from the left wing. No good, though. And rebounded there. There's a scrum on the floor. And Ranley Darren Logo and came up with it. Skipped it around. That pass goes fast. There's a drive by Holman. No basket. Illegal screen, I think, on Ungren, I think. If it's on 30, they're going to, yeah, yep. illegal screen trying to help his teammate get through the baseline. Ungren, his first foul, first turnover of the quarter, and New Knoxville going to empty their bench also. Carter Jones in for uh, Eifert, and uh, for New Knoxville, yep, we got some new players in as Noah Holland steps on the floor. Parker Jones steps on the floor. And uh, so does Caleb Putnam. So here comes, here comes Holland. Obviously, the Rangers have another game tomorrow night, as Jeff already told you. Mary Loco will play Van Wert at the hangar tomorrow night. So they also double weekend. Of course, they've got a, a bunch of games to squeeze in. You got to remember that Marion Local is playing so the late state finals while the rest of us are playing the second week of the season. And they basically got to make a turnaround in about You know what? Two They're weeks. used to it. They've won, like, they've done it 16 yeah, times. So it's not like they don't know the routine. But, yes, that's uh, it's a something. They've thing. Win, they play those the, the state finals numerous times. They've uh, they've been a condition to these. Noah Holland tied up there at midcourt. I don't know turnover. which way to put this. It's a turnover because the arrow goes to Marion Local. So the blue and gold have it. We were talking to Coach Guttermiller before the game. 
this is his 12th season. He remembers that in his first year, Coach Munger for the Rangers was a sophomore playing varsity for New at New Bremen. Yeah, probably coached so, against him. Yeah, coached against him as a player, now as a coach. I still wish they let the coaches play. <laughs> we would win a lot of games. Yeah, it would help. Munger is pretty good. And there's a drive by Adi right in front of the basket for about a three-footer, and that's good for Deuce. More second chance points for the Flyers. I mean, they've done a lot of things right tonight, but they've also capitalized on the offensive rebound, second chance looks. And to add that into their very good shooting of the first half and second and, and you know second half as well. There was Jones inside. He got the ball, but when he put it down on the floor, he got trapped and he had three guys on him. So it'll be a held ball and it'll favor arrow will go to the Rangers. So Red and White takes it out underneath their own basket. Richling to do the honors. Back to Parker. He's got it. Playing with that protective nose piece on after breaking his nose here in early December. And we have a, nope, just a deflection out of bounds. I thought maybe we had a foul. Uh, and the inbounds, top of the key, right side, Adi Long. Rebounded by Lammers, outlet to Richling. Crosses over, stops, looks, kicks it to Lammers. Over to Putnam. Putnam thinking about going baseline, does it. Holland has it, backs out. Kicks inside, passes wide of, of uh, Putnam, can't be touched, out of bounds, goes to blue and gold. So, Marin to inbounds. Ball in the hands of Carter Jones. Over there to Adi. Now back to Ungren. Ungren to Holman. Shot there by Ranley. Off the iron. No good. Fought four on the floor. Oops. Down goes everybody. And we have a scrum on the floor. Tie up. Possession arrow goes to the blue and gold. Marion Local's only loss of the season came against St. Mary's Rough Riders, so they'll go to seven and one on the season. And um, that loss against St. Mary's 46 to 35 back on 12 22, uh, December 22nd. Just I think at that time their third ball game, so there's still kind of new in their season. There's a shot from three point land, a long rebound. Ranley has it. Skip pass way over. Oh, saved, saved by Adi. Adi. There's a drive by Holman. Kicked back out to Ranley. Ranley drives, wiggles, and throws it off the glass and in. 27-58. Four points for Mitchell Ranley now, six-foot junior. 50 seconds to go. Parker Jones on the left wing drive, and he's going to get bumped there a little bit by Jones. Rangers just the one win on the season over House and Boy last week had a very competitive game against Ridgemont here at the barn and lost on a you know a close ball game by one point. But um, Lammers has it having and a tough night tonight, but a good move by Lammers his fourth point. Good pass by Richling. I don't know how he snuck it in there, but he did. That was a bounce pass, wasn't it? Yes. Adi has it at the top, guarded there by Holland. 26 seconds. Holman has it, goes, twist. Uh, maybe they won't take another shot as they skipped it all the way around. Unger has it on the baseline. No, he pulls the trigger. That's way short. Rebounded there by uh, Ranley. Doesn't get it. Grabbed there by uh, Putnam. Holland has it over to Parker Jones along the baseline. That's a little bit long. So that concludes tonight's action with the Marion Local Flyers on top. 58 to 29 over the New Knoxville Rangers. We'll be right back with our stats. And we'll final analysis and we'll pick the player of the game for you also. So hang with us for just about 30 seconds and we'll be right back. We are here and here and here 
Westminster Bank is everywhere, providing every banking service that you need to keep your financial life in order. Whether you are on the go or stopping by one of our branches, Minster Bank is here for you. We proudly support the communities where you live. Minster Bank, helping people achieve financial success. Unpack your potential with a career at Pratt Industries. Working at Pratt Industries is more than a job. It's a sustainable career. Pratt Industries to me is a job. It's, it's my career. It's the way I put food on my table, but I love what I do. We offer competitive pay, excellent benefits, and opportunities for career advancement. To apply, visit careers.prattindustries.com. Okay, just before Jeff gives us the stats for this evening's ball game, let's uh, take a look at our sponsors once again. These people made this broadcast uh, possible as we uh, enjoy what I call it MAC basketball at its finest. You just saw a great team tonight in the Marion Local Flyers with some great size, great strength, good shooting, a well-balanced, decent team probably only getting better as we are now dealing with them just getting into basketball shape. Though so our sponsors for tonight, Keyhole Pizza, First National Bank, Precision Strip, Emerson Climate Technologies, Carriage Works, Grand Lake Health, Kogi Plumbing and Heating, Lincoln Electric Automotive Automation, Automation, boy, that's a tough word, Minster Bank, Pratt Industries, Wagner's IGA, Wilson's Health, Winners Meats, New Knoxville Supply, and NK Telco. Special sponsors are Keyhole Pizza. They are they present the keys of the game. First National Bank is the scoreboard sponsor. Starting lineups were sponsored by Emerson Climate Technology. Our timeout sponsor is Precision Strip. Player of the game will be brought to you by NK Telco. And as I said before, the live view sponsor is New Knoxville Supply. In addition to these folks, we have other sponsors such as Burke Petroleum, Chill Tech, LLC, Cy Schwederman Incorporated, Dickman Supply, Hometown Opportunity, Holtzman Automotive, Park National Bank, Securecom, and the St. Henry Bank. So that kind of rounds out our sponsors for this evening. Just remember that this game will be rebroadcast on January the 17th at 5 p.m. That's in the evening, so you got a chance to see that. That's a Tuesday night, okay? And Saturday, January the 21st at 2 p.m. That's a Saturday afternoon. And just remember, go to on-demand viewing through YouTube, Facebook, and at nktelco.com slash sports. Jeff is ready, I believe, with everything. Here's the stats, and we will have the player of the game. New Knoxville finishes the ball game 7 of 13 from two-point shooting, 3 of 11, three-point shooting, 10 of 24, just 24 attempts for the Rangers. They make 10 of them. For the Mary Local Flyers, 17 of 28 from two-point shooting, 5 of 15, three-point shooting. They finish 22 of 43, a very good 50-plus percent shooting from the field for the Flyers. Free throw shooting, New Knoxville, six of seven from the line. Mary Local, six of six. Rebounding in the ball game, New Knoxville had 23 rebounds. Mary Local had 26 of Mary Local's 26 rebounds, 16 offensive rebounds. They converted those into 17 second chance points. A big strength for the Flyers or second chance opportunities, 17 points. Turnovers, New Knoxville 20, right at their season average again. Murray Local with just eight turnovers. Individual scoring for the Rangers, Jay Waterman with nine. Troy Dwanger Dranger with seven. Preston Richling, six. Tyler Lammers, four. Andrew Leffel, three. Their total of 29. For, Dunock, or for Marion Local, 15 from Jaden Mesher, 12 from Jack Kanapke, 11 from Austin Niekamp, 6 from Luke Pullman, 4 from Mitchell Ranley, 4 from Tate Hess, 2 from Kyle Adi, 2 from Brandon Eink, 2 from Kyle Ungren, their total of 58. So again, a, just a pretty well-balanced machine over there in the blue and yellow, and they didn't have many miscues tonight, and... Um, just a, a congratulations to the Flyers on the win and 
they, they played well. But I like how New Knoxville did it. You know, they played hard. They had a plan. They got off to a bad start, 8-0. Cut it back. And in the second quarter, had a chance. Cut it to one. If they come down and get a stop, they've got a chance to then take the lead. But uh, Jade Mesher hit the first of his three three-pointers in the second quarter. And that put the lead back at four. And that's really about the close as New Knoxville was able to kind of get. And then from there on, Mary Local kind of just held on and grew the lead systematically. And then in the third or in the fourth quarter, kind of when the teams emptied the bench, it kind of uh, you know dissolved a little bit or kind of got a little out of hand. But uh, for the most part, Mary Local in control tonight. Yeah, you're right, Jeff. Um, our player of the game is going to be Jaden Mesher for Marion Local. Not only is he the leading scorer for the Flyers tonight, I think he's leading scorer all, overall. Yeah, he? he was. Okay. Like Jeff said, if he didn't see it completely, when they when the Flyers just needed a basket in the first half there where the Rangers were putting on a little burst, he delivered twice and just sort of like stuck the knife right back in the Rangers' back saying, no, 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 you're not doing it here tonight. So he really did a nice job of of, of, of stopping the Rangers' flow yep. and just was... He shot the, six or seven from the field, three or four from three-point range, 15 points, and uh, like I said, he, he kind of limited that underdog mentality the Rangers had if we're going to come back at a stop and t- take the lead and uh, like I said it didn't happen and helped his team prevail to their uh, now seventh win on the season their second MAC win two and O's they're standing New Knoxville drops to one and nine and zero and three in MAC play. Coach Cutter Miller's got himself a nice team there not only does he have size strength and speed he's got some depth to go with it uh, Pullman uh, came off the bench and delivered a couple of threes besides so that's really big when you need extra offense so that pretty much wraps up tonight's broadcast from here at the barn where the Marion Local Flyers uh, a prevail off a 58-29 victory over the Rangers. Uh, for Jeff Henshin, who does the stats and the analysis, I'm Dennis Henshin. Hope you enjoyed the game. Stay tuned. We'll have more basketball coming your way later in the weekend. This is your Friday night light, so to speak, inside for the Rangers. So good night, everyone. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the game. Good night.